Question number 10. Does pelvic organ prolapse cause leakage? In short, it definitely can. Um, let's show you again on this picture here. So again, here's the bladder and the front wall of the vagina, and there's the urethra. So as the front wall of the vagina bulges, like in a cystocele, then the urethra follows behind it. And the urethra needs support in order for it to not leak. So for example, this is the urethra, and this is the front wall of the vagina. As you push down, or cough, or laugh, or sneeze, or exercise, then it squishes up against this. And so that's how it prevents leakage. Another way to think about this is if the urethra, or let's say was a, was a garden hose on the driveway, and then we stood on the garden hose on the driveway and it would squish it, and therefore it would stop leakage. If you take that same garden hose and you put it on sand or on the grass, then it would duck underneath and then you would get leakage to continue to come out. So, or the water would come out, so that's just like leakage. So when the front wall of the vagina loses that support, which is part of prolapse, that's how it can lead to incontinence. And that's specifically for stress incontinence. Overactive bladder is from upward in the bladder and some nerves and other things. So um, that's typically not as related to prolapse, um, but, uh, but both definitely can be.